we live on Facebook. Hallelujah. I'll mute the lines on the conference call. And then we're going to go live on the conference call. Let's see. So mute everybody and start the recording. This call is being recorded. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. As always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Praise your name, the Heavenly Father. Glorify you, magnify you, and worship you. That's what we are here to do this day, oh God. We thank you for seeing, letting us see another one of your beautiful days. We thank you, Lord, that you put breath in our lives. You gave us a reasonable portion of health and strength. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, for all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. But most of all, Lord, we thank you just for being God. We thank you because of who you are. We thank you, Lord, because of your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and that you raised from the dead. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, that because of his death, his burial, and his resurrection, we now have access to a relationship with you, dear Lord, that we can come through him, through his righteousness, through his death, through his sacrifice. And we can say, yes, we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yes, he is our Lord and our Savior. Thank you, Lord. And then we can talk to him and we can talk to you. And by the power of your Holy Spirit that, that rests inside of us, that, that, that is sealing us until our day of redemption, Lord, we have a relationship with you. Oh, Lord, we praise you for that relationship. We praise you that you saved us from a burning hell. We praise you that you're preparing a place for us up in glory. We praise you, God. We could just keep going on and on. As the psalmist says, if I had a thousand tongues, I could not praise you enough, dear Lord. So we give you glory and we give you honor right now. In Jesus' name, we ask you to bless now this, this Sunday school lesson. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh God. Yo, you are my rock and my redeemer. Be true to your word that what two or three are gathered in your name, you are in the midst. And then, Lord, we just ask you to touch this technology over Facebook and over the conference calls, Lord, that this, this technology would come through to transmit your, your word all around the world. And, Lord, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Bless now your hearers that we all might be hearers of your word and doers. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to the God in Light Ministry International Prayer and Bible Study Conference Call. This is your Sunday School Lesson Edition. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is your Sunday School Lesson Edition, and I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy, of New Harvest E Church in Harvest, Alabama. Uh, today, today we're going to be looking at Psalm Psalm 148. Psalm 148. Me, yeah, yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, Psalm 148. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Making sure I got myself right. Yep, yep. Psalm 148. <laughs> uh, and. Um, we're going to be looking at that that passage of scripture, so I want to just read it. I'm going to read it from a New King James version of the Bible, and um, let's see. It starts off, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all angels. Praise him, all hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all your stars. Your star, you stars of light, praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made a decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all the 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 depths fire and hell 
snow and clouds, storm, stormy winds, fulfill his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, king of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. Uh, both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has exalted the horns of his people. The praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This, this, this psalm is, this psalm um, does not have a, a person that they say wrote the psalm. And coming from Psalm 146 all the way over to Psalm 150, all of those songs start off with praise the Lord. This is this is a psalm of of praising the Lord. And 148 falls right in the middle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when we look at this lesson this morning, we're going to be talking about praising the Lord. And and our key scripture is going to come from uh, verse five. Verse five. And verse 5 of Psalm 148 reads, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Now, 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 uh, I'm supposed to say this right off the top because he just brought it to my remembrance. Everybody always talking about praising the Lord and trying to get people encouraged to praise the Lord. And, and, and I said, now, why they got this as a Sunday school lesson and and, 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 and all I could think of, what came to my mind was the Lord was kind of speaking to me. There's, we always need to learn more about praising the Lord. I don't know about you. I, I go through trials and tribulations in my day. I go through trials and tribulations all the time. And, and there comes a point where, where you forget. Uh, uh, that you need to praise the Lord. Uh, and so so this is what this psalmist is all about, uh, talking about. It's trying to get us into the mindset, into the attitude, into the point where we're giving God praise all the time. And so so with this psalm, with this psalm, I, I um, put a title on it. I, I got my commentaries and I, I got all kind of stuff listed. But I, I, what, what, what jumped out at me about it was, um, is that you got a reason to praise God. And I'm going to make it more personal. I got a reason. I got many reasons to praise God. We got reasons to praise God. And, 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 and we need to be reminded of those reasons that we ought to praise God. God, when he put the word of God together and he inspired the men by the power of his Holy Spirit, he had them to write all of these songs talking about praising God. It's just, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just, you know, random acts. He wanted us to learn how to praise him. And, and, I, and he said, read Psalm 50 right now. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for, uh, for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the songs of trumpets. Praise him with the lute and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and the dance. Praise him with strings and flutes. Uh, praise him with the loud cymbals and the crap. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. We ought to be a people that's all about praising the Lord. And so, in this text, what we're going to see is who we ought to praise and why we ought to praise. 
So we all got a reason to praise the Lord. Many people, um, you know, we give people praise. We compliment people. We, 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 we're living in a world where, where, where when it comes to, 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 to women, women want to hear you praise them uh, 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 how good they are on the inside. You know, oh, you know, darling, you, you so lovely. Not, not, not just your outer beauty, baby, but, but it's what's on the inside of your heart. You, you're so sweet and you're so kind. That, 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 that makes a woman happy. And when you want to praise a man and make him happy, oh, all you got to do is, oh man, you, you really, you really did that. You, you, you. Oh man, when you fix that, you fix that right. Cause men, men want to be praised for what they do, and, 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 and so when I look at this, when I look at this on from an earthly standpoint and put it in a heavenly standpoint, I believe God, God, when it comes to praise, He enjoys people praising Him just because of who He is. But not only do he enjoy us praising him because of who he is, uh, he enjoys us praising him because of what he has done, what he's about to do and what he's already done in our life. And we ought to give God praise for who he is and praise him for what he's about to do or have done already in our lives. And so there's a story about this little girl in uh, in her school she went to a a a church run school and so every day before they left class um they would sing their doxology y'all know this doxology um many of us still singing in our churches today um praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise him, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Well, this little girl, when she heard it, she changed the, 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 the title of it. Not title, but some of the words. She would say, praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise God because it's time to go. <laughs> she changed the words a little bit. But those words still have a, have a pertinent meaning because that's where we ought to be. We ought to be praising God because it's time to go. <laughs> Y'all know that's some of my theme this year. Get ready, get set, go. And, 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 and I don't believe we can get ready, get set, and go into the world without giving God some praise. You ain't ready to go nowhere if you ain't giving God no praise. Only place you ready to go if you ain't giving God some praise is it's through, I ain't gonna even go there. I ain't going there. But but that's the whole thing. So so when we look at this text, when we look at this text, uh, we we're gonna break this thing down and and we gonna 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 look at it from this standpoint. We got a reason to praise God because He is our Creator. We got a reason to praise God because He is excellent, and we got a reason to praise God because He is our God. Now, now that 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 outline runs pretty good. Uh, the next part is, you know, I can break it down into two pieces, two just two pieces of of the outline. I can go praise him in heaven and praise him on earth because that's that's how this text reads. And so, let me see if there's anything else I need to let jump out. Uh, key the key key concept key concept of this lesson. The key concept of this lesson is everything that God created uh, should praise Him. And, and, and we ought to praise him. We ought to praise him. Amen. Amen. So let's start looking at the text. Let's look at verses uh, 1 through 6. And this time I'm going to read, read it from out of the New Living Translation first. New Living Translation. It says this. Praise the Lord. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord from the heavens and praise him from the sky. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all the armies of heaven. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye twinkling stars. Praise him, sky above. Praise him, vapors high above the clouds. Let, e let every created 
thing give praise to the Lord, for he issued his commandments and they came into being. He sent them in places, in pla he set them, excuse me, in place forever and ever. His decrees will never be revoked. So, so, so right, right at the beginning, right at the beginning, he, God is saying, look, you got a reason to praise me through this word. This word is saying, you got a reason to praise God because he is our creator. We know that in the beginning, he, he set the, 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 the stars and the moon and the sun in his place. He put the water and, and, and the land in his place. He put the mountains and the hills. And he said, let there be and there was. So, 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 so he is the creator. He's the one that put all this stuff together. And he's saying to us, he's saying to us, praise the Lord. He wants us to just give him praise. This psalm is just saying, give God praise. Have you ever just walked outside and just start looking up and looking around and seeing how beautiful the clouds are, how beautiful the blue sky is, and, and then start looking at all of the things around you, all in a, in a late night. You go and look at the stars in the skies twinkling in the midnight darkness and, and the moon shining. Oh, you just, you just, something just about all of that ought to make you want to praise God because the stars, the moon, the sun, the skies, the clouds, all of those things are praising God. And not only are they praising God, but the heavens themselves, the angels, and all of the heavenly host of angels are giving God praise. And the reason that they're giving God praise is because it was him who said, let there be. And there was. He commanded it. He's he not commanding us to praise him at this point, but he commanded us to come into existence. And so when you recognize who your creator is, but not only is he the creator, once he made this decree, once he set these things in order, once he put them in place, they stay in place. They are always in place. When you woke up this morning, you had air to breathe. When you woke up this morning, there was a sun that came over the horizon. You may couldn't have seen it because there was clouds in the sky. Who do you think made all of that? Nobody but God. Oh, hallelujah. So we ought to praise him. We got a reason to praise him because he is our creator. And next, we ought to praise him because he is excellent. When he does a thing, he don't halfway do it. He don't just throw something together. He takes his time. And he really puts it in place. That's verses 7 through 13. Listen, listen to it. Listen to, listen to verses 7 to 13 from the New Living Translation. Praise the Lord from the, from the earth, you, creature, you creatures of the ocean deep. Fire and hail, storm, snow and, and clouds, wind and weather that obey him. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all living stock, small scurrying animals and birds, kings of the earth and all people, rulers and judges of the earth, young men and young women, old men and children. Let them all praise the name of the Lord for his name is very great. His, his glory towers over the earth and heaven. When God put everything in place, after he made the sun, the moon, and the stars, after he made the oceans and the mountains, he said, let there be and there was, and, 
And, and, and then he said, let there be these animals, animals of the sea, and let there be animals of the field, let there be birds in the air. He said, let there be, and after he did all of this, he said it was good. He said it was good. And then he said, let us make man in our own image. And he made man in his own image. And after he made man, he said it was good, excellent, awesome. That's what he does. And, 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 and understand, every time I look at my face, and since I'm on Facebook right now, I'm looking at my face. How would a God come up with this design of the human? With these ears on the side, wiggly noses, twinkling eyes, mouths. We can hear, we can smell, we can see, and we can talk. That's just our face. And God put all that together. And I don't know about you. I know what the, I believe what the psalmist says that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. Oh yes, my beauty may not appeal to you or your beauty may not appeal to me, but, but I'm here to tell you our beauty always appears, appeals to God. And so we have to recognize that he did us when he created us. He created each of us unique and beautiful in our own way. Just like when we were children and they told us that every snowflake that comes out of the sky is unique. And you know, you tell me something like that. I was I was a man, a little child. I wanted to test it. So I got me about three, four snowflakes and I start comparing them. And each one were truly unique. If God could make uniqueness out of every snowflake, oh, he can make uniqueness and beauty out of each one of us. And so we have to realize that we have to praise him for his excellent greatness. He, 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 he see, everybody ought to praise him. When the stars and sky twinkle, they praise him. But even when the ocean roars and the waves crash, they're praising him. When the snow and hail comes, when lightning strikes, that's still the elements, the environment praising God. When trees produce their fruit, they're still praising God. Everything has to obey what God put in place. God put gravity in place. It has to obey him and do what gravity is supposed to do. Oh, yesterday I got the chance to go see Hidden Figures and, and uh, my wife and I, we, we've seen two movies this year. Uh, uh, one was called Fence and the other one is called Hidden Figures and we probably won't see another movie at, at a theater again until next year this time. Because <laughs> we used to just watch movies at home, but in Hidden Figures, they 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 were that this was the time where they were trying to get to to the to to the uh, Earth atmosphere back with uh, uh, John Glenn, and, and and they were shooting for the moon for years later, and we got to see that that man trying to create this 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 rocket this to to get people to the to the moon, and there was some hidden figures some ladies in the background who could compute, calculate things faster than any computer could at that given time. And then when they actually got a computer, they could take it on to the next level. And that was the wonder and marvelous thing about the hidden figures. But God is not a hidden figure. God is standing right before us. And he's saying to us, we got to give him praise. The kings of the earth, we got to give him praise. The young men and the, the young women and the old men and the children, we all got to give him praise. He's not a hidden figure. 
earth and, and, the, and all his fullness praises his name every day. We got to give him praise. Give him glory. The cause of his excellence. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. We ought to give God praise. Found me in this lesson. We got a reason to praise him because he is our God. That's verse 14. Let's listen to verse 14 from the New Living Translation. He has made his people strong, honoring his faithful ones, the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. The King James Version reads like this. It says, and he has exalted the horns of his people. Praise of all of his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. The Amplified Bible says this about verse 14. He has lifted up a horn to his people, giving them power, prosperity, dignity, and preeminence. A song of praise for all his godly ones, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. God has chosen us. God has selected us. In Israel's time, he selected Israel as his chosen people. He selected Israel to be the ones that would be the, the, the standard bearers. They would have the horn. And, and the, having the horn mean that they would be exalted. And, and he chose them to be the, that kind of people. They had been exalted. That horn was a symbol of power. And in this case, it symbolized the ones who were in power. Kings of the earth would praise them, but they would praise God. He's chosen us. He's our God. He separated us and forgave us of our sins. Set us apart and made us holy. But not only that this horn talk about the children of Israel. This horn also talks about Jesus, the Christ. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Because out of the chosen people of Israel will come Jesus, the Christ the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he will reign forever and ever and ever. So we who are in the church today, we are there because of his death, his burial and his resurrection. We are here because he died for our sins. And God has forgiven us our sins because we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Praise his name. We loved him, but he first loved us. And he demonstrated his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. You ain't got no other reason in the world than to praise the Lord. You ought to praise him because he died for your sins and for the sins of the world. And if you were the only person in the world, he would have still died just for you. We ought to praise him. There are all kind of reasons to praise God. Sometimes you, you may feel like you don't want to praise him. 
You may be going through your different trials and your different tribulations and you may not just feel like giving God any praise. But I believe and I think that you at least have three reasons to always praise God whether you feel like it or not. You ought to praise him because he's our creator. You ought to praise him because ain't nobody like the Lord. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Ain't nobody as excellent as our God. And then you should just praise him because he has chosen to be your Lord your Savior, my Lord and my Savior. And he's brought us close to him in a relationship where we can pray and talk to him and we can read his word and sit still and listen to him comfort our hearts even in our trials and tribulations. We got a reason to praise the Lord. All the other psalmist just comes to my mind. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Yes, I can give the Lord praise. I can praise him just like the heavenly host and the angels. I can praise him for his excellent greatness. I could praise him because he is my Lord and my Savior. We ought to give God praise. You got a reason to praise God. That's what Psalms 148 is telling us. You got a reason. Praise him for being our creator. Praise him for his excellent greatness. And praise him because he is our God. He is your God. You got a relationship with him. But just in case you're listening to this broadcast and you don't have a relationship with God, we're going to pray the prayer of salvation right now and we're going to help you get your own personal relationship with him. That's done through confessing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, believing that he died on the cross for your sins and that God raised him from the dead. Scripture says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let us call on the name of the Lord in prayer. Dear Father God, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of my life, to reign and to rule in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you, to help me praise you, and to do your will the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer and truly believe it in your heart, you are now saved. I think now you know you have a reason to praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. We thank you for being with us on this Sunday school lesson on the Guiding Light Ministry. Uh, we welcome you to come back every Sunday on Facebook and those that are on the conference call. I'm going to close out the Facebook and then on the conference call, we're going to go into overtime where we have a discussion on the conference call and, and we share with one another. Um, the conference call number, if you want to call in into overtime, is 910-218-0531. Be blessed and may God keep you. As always, be blessed and be a blessing.